Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So in this playlist, we'll look at Vertex AI. We'll start looking at Vertex AI and what um, Vertex AI is used for. So Vertex AI is, um, is Google Cloud's um, unified, new unified ML platform. So um, it brings together AI platform where you had uh, the notebooks and then also auto ml um where you could train models without actually writing the code for the model right so a um, vertex ai just combines these two um apis and then you have just one platform for doing your machine learning operations so vertex ai helps uh, machine learning engineers to build, deploy, and scale machine learning models faster. Vertex AI is a serverless um, platform, right? So um, as opposed to um, AI platform, if you have watched my videos on um, deploying TFX um, pipelines on GCP, if you are deploying TFX pipeline on GCP, you have to create a Kubernetes cluster and all that. With Vertex AI, you wouldn't, you don't need to create, um, worry so much about infrastructure. So you just worry about your code and yeah, how to make your models better. So it helps you to 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 do things faster since you are no longer worried about um, setting up infrastructure, right? And um, so yeah, so there are a lot of benefits. Um, with using Vertex AI. So let me just give you another one. So if you look at, if you can see my screen here, um, this is um, an architecture for um, doing um, ML ops, right? So this is an architecture for um, for machine learning engineering or an M ML ops environment using Apache Airflow and an ML flow. So before you can use this um, setup, you can you have to you have to set up a whole lot of infrastructure. Probably take you a long time to get um, all this working, right? With Vertex AI, you don't need to worry about all this. You just go ahead and then um, do your work. So let's look at the dashboard for Vertex AI. Um, to get to Vertex AI, you can just search the products and then you get to Vertex AI here. And so this is the dashboard for Vertex AI. And as you can see, we have some um, items here. So um, Vertex AI, as you, as it's written over here. So it helps you to take your project from the idea to the deployment quickly and cost effectively because it's a serverless environment. You only pay for what you use, right? So you, you, you only pay when your, your, maybe your models are deployed or when your training, the job is running, things like that. Um, so let's look at some of the items that we have over here. So we have, um, data sets before you can train a model, you would have to with in Vertex AI, you have to create a managed data set. For example, if you are using auto ML. You have to create a managed data set. There is also a feature store um, that helps um, to store features, to, um, to share machine learning features with other people, right? And also to fetch features for training, right? And you also have another one, enabling tasks. So if you probably have an image classification problem and you would like to label your data, you can submit a labeling tax and then GCP would ask human labelers to annotate your items for you. There is also a workbench. So the workbench is where you have your Jupyter notebooks, right? So, um, so as you can see, my notebooks API has not been enabled. So I, I don't, I don't need to enable it now. Um, so let's go back here. Uh, 
And by the way, the first time you open Vertex AI, if it tells you the API is not enabled, just go ahead and enable it, right? So the next uh, tab is the pipeline. So the pipelines is very necessary in machine learning and engineering where you create pipelines for your whole machine learning workflow, right? And then you can run your pipelines periodically depending on how your model is degrading. You also have your training. So you can also see your training pipelines and your training jobs here, right? You also have your experiments where you can um, compare machine learning ex um, experiments and visualize with um, and with uh, with other with other machine learning engineers, right? So this is something like um, ML flow experiments, right? Just that for this, you don't need to set up any infrastructure. And then you have um, models, right? So this is where your models that are built will be stored. You have your endpoint. So this is um, how you would where you your models will get deployed for online predictions. So um, you can so after after building the model, you can um, deploy it for online predictions. And we also have batch predictions. So for online predictions, you just send an instance and then you get a prediction. For batch predictions, maybe you have a group of um, instances or a, a batch of instances in maybe a GCP bucket and you want to get an, um, let's say, an output for all those maybe thousand images. Um, and then you want to get a prediction for almost of all those thousand images. You can use the batch predictions for that. Then you have metadata. So this is where you can um, you can um, see the whole life cycle um, of your of your machine learning and workflow, right? And then machine engine. Um. So all these um. All these, um, let's say, features would, would uh, make your machine learning engineering life very easy. You see, this is the whole um, workflow of a machine learning engineering, uh, workflow of machine learning engineering or machine learning or ML ops, right? Okay. So, um, and so, um, yeah, so keep watching. Um, these videos and I'm sure by the end of um, these and videos you would really be interested in using Vertex AI for your machine learning operations and yeah so the next thing we will do is to um, develop so we start from the very basics of Vertex AI which is auto ML and before we move on to do and write in custom models, right? So um, the first thing we, we, we have to do is if, so obviously if you're watching this video, you already have a GCP account. If you don't have a GCP account, um, I will leave a link in the description that shows you how to set one up. And I've already done it in my earlier videos, one of my videos. And the uh, next thing also, one of the things you have to do is you also have to authenticate your your environment because we'll, I'll be working mostly on my local environment and then um, sending my request to AI platform on GCP. So I have to be authenticated with a GCP service account. And I have already shown how to do that in one of my videos. So I'll also leave a link in the description. So go ahead and do those things and I'll see you in the next video.